Taking Care of Business is recycled out of about a dozen other movies, but it's so much goofy fun I can forgive it for that. The movie stars Jim Belushi as a convict who breaks out of prison because he's a fanatic Cubs fan and the Cubs have finally made it into the World Series. He's got tickets and his day at the game is financed in part by an uptight businessman played by Charles Grodin who conveniently loses his credit card. Yeah, I'd like to buy that big screen TV. Spencer Barnes, where are you? By taking the other guy's credit cards and identification, Belushi sets up all the elements for a roll swap. Nobody knows he isn't the other guy, and before long, he finds himself mistaken for an advertising executive. Are you familiar with high quality products? Your oatmeal stinks. Tastes like dirt. Actually, chewy dirt. Your ketchup's too runny. Your rice sticks together all the time. Your bologna tastes like rubber. You gotta smother it with mustard. Not your mustard, because your mustard tastes like crap. Believe me, I know. I used to work in a cafeteria. This high life he stumbled into looks great to Belushi. Want to join me? Me? <laughs> sure. Not only does he find himself in temporary possession of a luxurious Malibu beachfront pad, but the boss's daughter is even in attendance. I feel free. No. Open. Sexy. Check! Uh, check, please. Some of the movie's funniest scenes take place after the imposter and the original meet. They wind up going to the World Series together. No, no, Pete, show him walk. Oh. Damn it, he got a hit. The agents are going to score. Who oh, talked to him? Uh, Jewel talked to him. Walter's Jewel? Yeah, Walter's Jewel. Hey, she's one hot lady, you know that? Last night we did it. Come on. Wait, wait you mean I slept with Walter's daughter? Yeah. Oh, how was that? The movie is a lot of good, goofy fun, especially when Belushi plays that fanatic Cubs fan who can't believe the Cubs have finally gotten into the World Series. He has two tickets, but he's behind bars. Nothing will stop him from getting to that game. I give the movie three stars, and I'm Roger Ebert.